Dark Random Podcast, episode four. Let's go. I am Dark Red. Hey there, folks. Today, we're going to be talking about a guy named Brandon Herrera. Uh, this is a guy who owns a gun store called the AK Guy. Uh, what he does there is he manufactures all shapes and sizes of Kalashnikovs. Not only that, uh, he's, he's a big YouTube personality. He has over 3 million followers. And now he is running for the House of Representatives. And he's running to represent the Texas's 23rd Congressional District. And you really can't get much more MAGA than this. And it's really these fringe conspiracy theory embracing gun nuts that we really need to keep out of elected office. And today he has a video I'm showing you where uh, he's talking about a gun buyback and uh, the lack of effectiveness of gun buybacks. Take a listen. Now, some of you might be wondering, Brandon, why would a gun buyback be a bad thing? After all, if you're voluntarily getting guns off the street, that should be a win-win, right? Well, not really. So studies have repeatedly shown that gun buybacks have basically zero correlation to a reduction in crime whatsoever. They're the gun control equivalent of a rain dance. You're all gonna get together, put on a show, and have a real good time of hoping you do something. But that don't affect the fucking rain. That and for example, the, the one we crashed in San Antonio, the people who put on the gun buyback basically admitted they didn't expect it to do anything for crime. The only thing it's really good at doing is wasting community resources, which of course means wasting taxpayer dollars on the things that the people who put it on know won't work. Meaning government's gonna do the one thing that they're actually good at and waste your fucking money. And my concern with that study is, you know, how much data was actually collected over a long period of time to demonstrate uh, the effectiveness, right? I think there's also a lot of other variables in play. The access to guns, right? How accessible are guns, right? In a red state, you're gonna have a lot more accessibility to guns than you would in a blue state. And I think that would impact the effectiveness of that gun buyback. But if, if we pull out and we look at the, the larger picture as a whole, you know, I do think there is some data that kind of goes against this, this general idea that the right puts out that there's more gun violence in blue cities than in, in red states. Uh, let's just take a look here. Uh, there's a Forbes article here. Red states have higher gun death rates than blue states, and here's why. A new study published in the Journal of American Medical Association Surgery, right, a very unbiased party, found that firearm deaths are more likely to occur in small rural towns than major urban cities. And this is adding to the research that contradicts common belief that Democratic blue areas have higher incidences of gun-related deaths than Republican red districts. And diving deeper into this, researchers from the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia, the Columbian University of Mailman School of Public Health, and the University of California examined two decades of mortality rates and cause of death data from the National Center for Health Statistics, National Vitality Statistics, uh, to, com to compile the study, right? And so that's what I'm talking about, right? We need this very long period of time where we get very accurate there isn't this gray area here, right? Uh, we're able to tell, okay, this person died from a gun wound. It was in this place. Uh, it's just that simple, right? Um, there isn't those variables that we, we include in the equation of gun buybacks and their effectiveness. So uh, a third way uh, report found that between 2000 and 2020, Trump voting states had a 12% higher murder rate than Biden voting cities. So you know, you can't get really more clear or concise with the data than that. So I, I think we really need to work hard to break through these different narratives. And Brandon, you're a fucking piece of shit. You're going to lose, and I'm going to work to make sure you do. I am.